Um, I don't know, every time I try to start this vlog, I immediately yawn. It's like, on. Um. I. I'm gonna get a late start. I slept in to a point. I was uh, sleeping till 10, which is like better than it was about when I started my new job. I started getting up earlier, so I've been doing pretty good at getting up, getting up earlier in general, usually around 8. Um, I think getting up at 6 is cool. I have to do it for work, but like when I don't have to, I think 8's fine. Like that's still, that's a good enough amount of time. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um. Leisurely start to my day, eight, watch some stuff. I exercised, did a good job cleaning myself. Like, it's not like I don't do a good job most of the time. It's just today was like, you know, one of those days where you really make sure you're all up in your crannies, you're enjoying it. It's good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Gotta clean my fucking room. Mine and Max's room. It is atrocious in here. I'm not gonna show you. It just steadily gets more atrocious because with stuff, some stuff you just gotta throw away. Other stuff, it's like, when do we throw away some stuff? Like, I don't know. And then just stuff we aren't, sorry guys, stuff we aren't gonna throw away. We don't have places to put it because we don't have a huge home. Boo! But um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. But the vlog, more talky part. Well, very funnily said, I want to talk about attention oars. He said that about himself. And I just thought the way he said that brings up a lot of shit. And I like what he said about it. And it was basically about how everyone does need an atten does need attention. And he went over a bit of it here and there and everything. So I didn't. I agree with all the stuff he said. I'm just going to interject a little more fully we're not necessarily agree it's just it's such a huge topic you can't nothing he said is wrong and then basically it'll just be argumental conversation nailing down a lot of little things but once again impossible to kind of pin down because it is unhealthy sometimes there's a lot of unhealthy ways to seek attention but seeking attention in itself is not necessarily unhealthy uh attention for attention's sake um uh, that well talked about to a point and said, um, how do we define what is attention for attention's sake? And I do think there is attention for nothing more than need that validation. I do think that's unhealthy. I think you, and there's nothing wrong with wanting attention. Just why you want it. Because if it's for a bad reason, like something where it's just you don't feel good about yourself and you need validation from everybody, that's unhealthy. And the thing to solve there isn't attention. It's about understanding you don't need some of that attention and finding ways to validate yourself in a more positive way. But the one thing I'll say just about the general hypocrisy of all this, and attention whores is a good word to kind of bring up that hypocrisy, is... For an example, imagine a very attractive lady with, with big boobs, lets them out pretty far with like a lot of cleavage to go out. Now, her body and all that, all those things. And why someone might do that, there's a lot of reasons. So there's no way to pinpoint that. We can't say expressly why anyone might do that. It might be pride in their body. It might be attention seeking. It might be sexual. I think it you will usually be a lot of things like that. But the thing is, if a girl with big boobs goes out showing a lot of her boob off, and, and once again, her body, we live in free society, all that shit, but at the same time, within that, it means we're free to judge. Like, you can't take away that, because then freedom of speech goes away. Judgment is part of that. But if she goes out, does that, and let's say, on some level, she wants that attention. She wants someone... To approach her and tell her she's attractive. When some greasy person or some rude person comes up and does this and she goes, I don't want that. Like, don't talk to me or whatever. And that guy goes, you obviously want attention because your tits are out. So, yes. in If, so just in this example, if that's what she wanted. If she wanted to go out and she wanted people to get her drinks or some shit. Which I don't necessarily, not, let's not say that. Let's say just wants attention. Just wants someone to find her attractive. 
Now, let's say that same dude also went out, probably dressed up, or tried to in his own variety. And if there was girls going up on him, be fine. But what if someone he found unattractive came up, like a woman or a man, and was hitting on him? And then let's just say a man for this example, or I'll say a woman, because fucking idiots will say it's different if it's a man or something, but it's, it's bullshit. Like, if... if by the logic of you put it out there so anyone who's turned on by it is welcome to it. If if you're that idiot thinking that, then that goes the same for you. So if you're a dude dressed up and a dude, a big fucking black guy comes and hits on you. I don't know why I said it was black, just you, 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 you big dicks. It's probably why I said it, because I'm a I'm a I'm a slave to the machine. <laughs> and I believe everything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, and he hits on you and you go, No, no, man. And then what if he says, oh, I saw you put on a little tie and tight pants. I think you want a dick in your mouth. It's, that's your logic. That's the logic that person was using on that girl. So when we, when we think about something like that, how do we, because even if it's true, this is my biggest thing. Even if that pretty girl with the big boobs is going out with her boobs out to get attention, that doesn't mean she necessarily wants your attention. She wants attention from people who she herself would give attention to. And that's fine, because that's how we'll all operate. And I think, to a degree, um, general politeness is good in situations. If someone approaches you kindly, reject them kindly. Definitely reject them if that's what you want. Like, don't... Sorry, just taking the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, reject them if that's what you want. And then for people who are curt or... You'll see a lot of this on the internet and it annoys the fuck out of me. Girls who say, I have a boyfriend. I'm not annoyed at them. I'm annoyed at the dudes who are annoyed at them for this. Because it's like, they're bombarded with these fucking little doolies who wouldn't like blink twice if someone they found unattractive came up to them and they blew them off. They wouldn't care. They'd be like, eat shoes, I don't you want. But they never think of themselves in that lens of, maybe I'm not appealing to them. Especially if they have money or if they work out or something. that's like, I'm technically supposed to be what you're looking for. So just fucking idiots. Doing stupid. I swear a lot in this. Uh, I like swearing. I want to do that. Disclaimer. Apologies. Not to the Dagians. Because there's anyone else who clicked on this. The Dagians I know are fine with me swearing. Um, but yeah. So... When a girl, if you approach a girl and she, and all you're doing, not even hitting on her, but you go like, and you're genuine, because I've done this. Let's say she's wearing, for me, if a girl is wearing something I'm a fan of, Steven Universe, Adventure Time or something, because I see that a lot, I'll compliment that, because I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And if one did say I have a boyfriend, I mean, yes, I was trying to give them a genuine compliment, but that doesn't mean... Anything more than this person is either one thinks I'm seedy. So if they think I'm seedy, don't I don't get don't get fucking offended if someone doesn't like you. Just brush. You'd be like, okay, no, I don't need to worry about this. Then that has nothing to do with me. People need to not feel attached to that. And then, or she just deals with this all the time. You can't be mad at someone who's had to develop because dudes don't take it seriously. Not all dudes. I'm a guy. I have a dick. I like it. But I fucking am kind to strangers without feeling ownership over them like like you'll see dudes hit on girls and nothing stops it until it's like i have a boyfriend so even if it's not true that's the thing and it's fucking just awful um but yeah to to, to that point when we feel attracted to something we feel ownership because when we like something it's like smeagol in the ring when you really like something you feel ownership and we pretend like that's not true with people it is we do it to celebrities. You'll feel like a celebrity's attractive. And also, we're entitled to their business. Celebrities get leaked nudes, judgment out the wazoo, and you'll get people be like, we deserve to... Like, it's, it's, it's fucking stupid. So, within the realm of attention, yes, it's extremely natural to want and try and get attention. How you get it is important. So, it can be really hurtful. Just to Doel's point, I don't think he would disagree with this. I just didn't, don't think he expressed it, said that. So I do think you do that as for like, yeah. And then I think the best point you made also just on the cynical side is if you use boobs or looks or whatever to get all your attention, that's the only thing you base it on. You're going to 
go in for shit later in life for sure. It's long now, but uh, thanks everybody. Just wanted to lump onto the wells because I thought it was a really interesting topic. Talk to you later.